High Level has come out with a ton of new features recently and we're gonna go over them in this video. All the features we're covering are gonna be inside of your sub account. And so the first one is gonna be under our payments tab and it's this new proposals and estimates section. Previously, High Level did not have a way to do contracts but with proposals and estimates, they now do. This is huge for agency owners and other businesses that rely on contracts to lock their clients in for a certain amount of time. You can create these contracts by going in, clicking new right here, clicking new proposal. An estimate would more be for a business that wants to send an estimate out first, and then they can get the feedback with their clients. But if you wanna send somebody a contract to sign, you can do a proposal here and you can build them out right inside of high level. So it'll open us up into our proposal builder. You can name the proposal. You can add different elements. You can add a text element for your title up at the top. You could add a uh, product list which will actually have the option to select your different products from your sub account. And so I could do like this uh, mortgage accelerator plus plan right here, add the item, it's 297. Then I could change the quantity. If I wanted to do like a six month contract with the client, I could do six months here and that would update automatically and show the total price over six months would be 1,782 bucks. And then you can add a discount. If you said you're gonna give them a discount, you can do a percentage or a custom amount. And then you can add whatever else you wanna to add to the contract, a video, a page break, a signature at the bottom, that'd be one you definitely wanna have at the bottom. Make it look nice, you can save the template and then you can send it out to all of your clients going forward. When they sign this, this is an official binding agreement that they're gonna sign up for this plan on a six month contract and the total amount is gonna be the 1,782 bucks. When you send the contract out, you'll just select a recipient right here. You'll select the contact's name of the person you wanna send it to, and then you'll hit send. It'll send in their email. They can click on the little button in the email, and then once they click on that button and they open up the contract, they'll sign it. It's just kinda of like DocuSign. Once they sign it, it'll then send a copy to you as the agency owner, and then it'll also send a copy to them of their signed contract with you so they can keep it for their tax purposes. But yeah, this is a really cool feature that High Level previously did not have, so use this one for any contract needs that you have. Next, I'm gonna go in my sub account down to my settings here, and I'm gonna go to this labs tab. This is where you can see a lot of the new updates. And if you're not seeing some of the things from this video, you need to make sure to go to labs and toggle them on. These are all the beta programs that High Level has come out with or they're coming out with. And so you can toggle them on early to get early access to them. And then once they're out of beta, they'll just be native for everybody and you don't have to have them toggled on here. But they have a new workflow builder. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it looks pretty different. Um, it's pretty similar to how it used to be though. So when we jump into it, you can see the layout looks a little bit different. It's a lot more flowy, a lot more easy to understand in my opinion, and uh, everything's pretty similar. If you wanna add a workflow step, you just click the plus sign just like it used to be. And some of these are updated and the colors are different um, for the category that they fall under. But yeah, new workflow builder looks nice and is a lot easier to use in my opinion and a lot easier to visually see everything happening in your automation. Another one is the dashboard. So if you go back and you click on your dashboard, you can see the dashboard looks a lot different than it used to. Um, but it's just another thing that makes the software look nicer, more modern. The old dashboard looked a little bit outdated, so this one's definitely nicer and uh, easier to read. Another update is that you can do second tier affiliates, meaning you can add affiliates in under your marketing tab here. You go up to the affiliate manager, you can create campaigns. So let's say you're selling SaaS, you're reselling high level. You can have people refer business to you and you can pay them a commission for the referral and say, hey, thanks for sending this person to me. And uh, I wanna give you a monthly commission of 20%. So you can set that up in here but now you can do two levels to that. So let's say John sends you a real estate agent client. The real estate agent client signs up with you and then that real estate agent client sends you a client. John, now since he sent the real estate agent, he'll get a commission on the other person that the real estate agent sent. So it goes two tiers down and you can set that all up inside of your affiliate manager, which is pretty cool. High Level has also recently come out with a new website and funnel builder that looks newer and nicer. So if you go to sites and you have that toggled on in your labs, you can see if we just go to like one of our websites right here, um, the website builder does look a little bit different. So I'm just gonna click on this authentic dining restaurant one and I'm gonna click edit so we can see what that looks like. The functionality is almost identical. They've just changed the buttons and the look of the website builder. And then also one cool thing is if you select these green sections right here, 
you can go down and instead of having a photo background for your green sections, you can switch it to video. High level didn't have this in the past. You could only do video back or image backgrounds, but now you can do video backgrounds, which look really, really clean. So I'm going to show you guys real quick, select a video and uh, show you guys what this could look like for you. Um, but you used to have to use GIFs or different files for your videos if you wanted to do a video background. But now it's just native that you can upload videos as your background. I'm just gonna select one of these. I don't know what this video is, but we'll see. Um, so now you can see the video has been put in the background. And if I preview this website, I don't like that it's only small. I want it to like fill the whole space. So I'm actually gonna go to fill right here. And then it fills up the whole space. Um, it's gonna look a little bit jumbled. So you have to play with the video sizing but I'm gonna hit preview real quick so you guys can see when we actually go live with this site, it'll have the video play in the background and it loads super quick, the load speed's awesome. So yeah, this just makes your websites look a lot more professional. Also, High Level has revamped the form builder to look a little bit different. Um, in my opinion, it's nicer, cleaner. So if you get a forms, form builder, and then we select a form, the layout of the page just looks a little bit different. If you wanna add elements to the form, click this little button right here, drag them onto the form, same as it used to be. And then if you wanna change the styling options, you just click these little two things up here and you can change the style of the form. So not really a huge change, just the look is different, the functionality is the same. And then that also applies to the survey builder as well. It looks similar to the form builder. Um, High Level has also updated their calendars and you can now put calendars into a group. Calendars used to be separate and if like 9 a.m. was booked on one calendar, you could still book 9 a.m. on the other calendar. But now you can put the calendars into groups if you go to your calendar settings. And now those calendars can talk to each other. So if you want calendar A and calendar B to communicate and like if 9 a.m. is booked on calendar A, you wanna block off 9 a.m. on calendar B, you can do that by clicking groups right here and you can create a calendar group and all the calendars within it will communicate with each other. A prime example of how this would be beneficial is for like a salon that offers a ton of different types of appointments. Let's say they do nails, let's say they do hair cutting, let's say they do microblading, all of these different things. You can create separate calendars for each of them, but the calendars will communicate with each other. And now with the round robin calendars, if you create a calendar that's round robin, you can have like a bunch of different people on the calendar. Let's say it's a salon for this example, let's say there's five employees that do different things. You can have one calendar with five different people on it and the client, when they go to book, they can pick the person that they wanna have the appointment with as they're booking the appointment. High Level also recently integrated LinkedIn lead ads where if you're running ads on LinkedIn and you capture a lead through those ads on like a form inside of LinkedIn, you can port those people over to High Level. You'll find that if you talk with us on, you'll find that under your integrations right here. And then you'll see LinkedIn is a new option that you can connect and you can connect those lead forms up here in the LinkedIn form fields mapping section once that's connected. And so all your leads you collect through your LinkedIn ads will port right into high level and then you can follow up automatically with them through your automations. High level recently added communities. So if you hit go back and then you go down to your memberships tab, you can create communities. So it's basically like a Facebook group or a Discord channel or, or kind of like school. If you've ever used school, it's a group where you can have people join, they can sign in, and then you can have resources for them. You can chat back and forth with them, kind of have group discussions. You can book calls inside of there. You could use this feature for your clients and you could have all of your new clients go into here and you can give them resources inside of the group. A lot of different use cases for the communities, but definitely a great addition by high level. And then last but not least, conversation. AI if you get onto your settings. This is one thing you'll have to toggle on inside of your agency view. So if you switch to your agency view, you go down to settings and you go to the company tab, you'll need to scroll down and make sure you have toggled on conversation AI right here. Once that's toggled on, it'll now show inside of your sub account. So if you switch over to your sub account and then you go down to your settings and then you go to conversation AI, you can now create AI chatbots for your sub accounts. This really isn't fully functional yet. They're gonna be adding this in to your automation. So after somebody like submits a form on your website, for example, you can have the chatbot jump in and message back and forth with them. Um, but they haven't added that yet to the automations. They're gonna be doing that in a few weeks here once they fully release this feature. But basically you can have this chatbot work through text, Facebook DMs and Instagram DMs, all these different channels right here, but I'm just gonna do text for this example. And then you can set it on autopilot mode where it'll message just on autopilot for you for all of your leads. You might not wanna turn that on until they have the uh, automation step set up so you can control when the bot kicks in and when it doesn't. 
Um, if you turn on autopilot, it'll kick in for everybody, which you might not want the bot to respond to everybody and all of your leads. Plug in the business name right here. So now the bot is trained on the business name. You'll also want to put in how fast you want the bot to respond. You can have it respond every 30 seconds. You can say how many max messages you want the bot to be able to send back and forth with a lead or a client. Then you can go up to the bot training right here. And this is really cool. You can plug in a website. So I plugged in my website here and then you can click get data. The bot will then crawl the entire website. It'll read everything on that site and it'll train itself on all the information that it just got from this website. You can plug in any website right here. So if you get a client and they're like, hey, we want you to build us a chat bot, you can just plug in their website right here that will have a bunch of information about their business. And now the bot will know almost everything about their business and be able to answer questions as people ask. And you can also add in your own custom Q&A for the bot. So you can say, um, hey, if the bot has ever asked this question or a variation of this question, we want it to answer in this way and so on. So you can train the bot custom as well, as well as with the information on the website. You can configure the intents. So if you want the bot to do appointment booking, that's what the bot is for. It's to help you get booked appointments and that's what it will do for you and chat back and forth with people, book them on your calendar. You can either say, I want the bot to ask them for times they're available and I want the bot to do the booking for me. Or you can just check this box and say, at the end of the conversation, the bot will just send them the link to the calendar and then the client can book themselves in. So you can set that up either way where the bot does the booking for them or you can just send the link to the calendar and the client can book it themselves. You can select the calendar you want the bot to book on right here, and then you can add conversation flow, meaning if you want like the bot to pre-qualify people and ask specific questions before it books the appointment with them, you can set that up right here under the conversation flow. And then lastly, once you've got your bot all set up, you can go to bot trial and you can message back and forth with it and you can see in real time the bot responding. You can either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If I didn't like this response that it gave me, I could give it a thumbs down. And then I can say, if somebody says, hey, in the future, then I want you to respond this way. Or if they say some variation of, hey, right? If they say hi, or um, how's it going, or whatever it is, that's similar to, hey, it'll respond in this way that I typed out here. So you can train it that way by giving it thumbs up, thumbs down. So it'll get better and better as you keep testing it here in this trial. Well, there you have it, guys. These are all of the new features that High Level has come out with recently. A few weeks ago, I had lunch with Sean Clark, the CEO of High Level, and it's absolutely insane what they have planned for the software. If you haven't started using High Level yet, you can get a 30-day free trial to it down below this video. To be completely transparent, that's my affiliate link. So if you sign up with that link, I'll jump on Zoom calls with you. I'll help you set up your account and just make sure that you're set up for success. And also, if you're wanting to start an agency with High Level and resell it to clients, you can check out my AI agency masterclass down below. It teaches you how to use and set up the software, how to get clients with it, and then how to fulfill those clients and keep them happy. So feel free to check that out down below. It's free. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. Other than that, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.